Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to optoelectronics devices and systems and uh, the modulation of light. So, so far in our discussion related to modulation of light, external methods of modulation of light, we have covered uh, bifringence or double refraction, okay. We have covered the electro-optic modulation and we have covered the magneto-optic modulation. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the acousto-optic modulation method. So, the basic concept of uh, modulation, it says to alter any of the parameters associated with the electric vector of light wave. Okay, We all know light consists of vibrating electric and magnetic field vectors. We are only interested with the electric field vectors because they are responsible for every electrical phenomena. So, modulation basically involves changing any of the parameters such as amplitude, frequency or phase, okay, that. So, here we are basically interested in uh, changing any of these parameters, okay. So, here in this method, we will be changing the phase of the light vector with the help of change of refractive index, okay, in this method. So, the acousto-optic modulation method, it basically involves use of sound waves, okay, sound waves to change the refractive index of the material through which light is passed. So, this method basically is the inducement of bifringence property. We have already discussed bifringence or double refraction method. Here we want to induce the property of bifringence indirectly with the help of sound waves. Okay? So, in all of these methods of modulation, we have used some external agent. Okay? So, in electro-optic modulation, we used electric field. In uh, magneto-optic modulation, we use magnetic field. Okay? Here, we are using sound waves. And the pressure generated because of those sound waves will alter the refractive index of the material. Okay? So, the basic setup of uh, the acousto-optic modulator, it involves this, okay. So, first to produce the sound wave, we are using a piezoelectric transducer. So, it operates on the principle of inverse piezoelectric effect. We know, we have already discussed about piezoelectric materials and sensors and transducers. So, here the piezoelectric material is one in which when we apply pressure across the two ends, it develops an electric potential. That is the piezoelectric effect. Okay? So, the piezoelectric effect is application of force or pressure produces electric potential. The opposite is also true. If we apply an electric potential, it will produce vibrations. Okay? oscillations across the two ends. That will produce the required sound of suitable frequency required. So, that is achieved by the piezoelectric transducer here which produces the sound waves. Now, when the light from the optoelectronic source which can be a light emitting diode or laser, it passes through the material and it comes in contact with the sound waves, it suffers, you know, scattering, diffraction, it gets diffracted. And such a type of diffraction is called as Bragg diffraction. So, that is why acousto-optic modulators, they are also called as, uh, you know, Bragg cells, okay, they are called as Bragg cells. So, what happens is, 
the sound waves it uh, because of the pressure generated by the sound waves the density of this material at different places it becomes high or low leading to high pressure regions low pressure regions okay so because of these generation of uh, high pressure and low pressure regions the refractive index of this portion okay this white portion this medium through which the light propagates at different places the refractive index varies so as a result when refractive index it varies at different places when refractive index varies this produces different velocities okay different velocities at different places and because of this there is a phase shift there is a you no know, the outcoming the output light wave is phase shifted by a certain value so this is the whole concept of uh, acousto optic modulation so this medium this material which is used it can be of different types uh, commonly used materials are fused silica lithium niobate le uh, lead molybdate arsenic trisulfide lead silicate and so on so uh, this uh, diffraction which this light wave suffers that is called as bragg diffraction we don't want to go deep into that because that is also a very uh, you know complex topic in itself it is very lengthy but we'll try to cover it in short so what bragg diffraction is that when uh, a radiation of a certain wavelength which is similar to the interatomic distance is uh, focused on a certain atom it gets scattered uh, in a similar way such as light gets reflected from a uh, plane mirror okay like that so it follows the laws of reflection that is angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection so here the angle of scattering or the angle of diffraction is equal to the angle of incidence so this happens only when the wavelength of the light wave is similar to the interatomic distance so here when the light wave it strikes a atom it gets diffracted or scattered by the same angle which is similar which is same as the angle of incidence and when light waves it gets diffracted or scattered through multiple layers of such atoms those diffracted or scattered light beams they uh, you know they uh, superimpose to have constructive interference that is the whole principle of bragg diffraction and here that is given by n lambda which is e uh, equal to 2d sin theta where n is the order of diffraction okay lambda is the wavelength of the light wave which is comparable with the interatomic distance separation between these atoms d is the diffraction grating constant the distance between them and theta is the angle of incidence which is equal to the angle of diffraction the scattering that angle okay it follows the laws of reflection okay so this only happens when the wavelength of the light wave is comparable with the interatomic distance the gap between the atoms that phenomena is called as bragg diffraction so this happens here so when the sound waves generated by the piezoelectric transducer it produces high pressure and low pressure periodic high pressure low pressure regions so it happens something like this the sound wave it generates alternately high pressure and low pressure regions at different points in the medium here it generates high pressure and low pressure regions periodically at different places so because of that the refractive index of the medium also varies periodically okay and because of the change in the refractive index and because of the sound waves combined together the light wave it suffers bragg diffraction as per this rule okay 
So this change in refractive index which brings about diffraction of the light beam combined with the sound waves that change in refractive index is given by this okay so the variation of the refractive index it happens in three axes along three axes if we pick a particular axis let's say uh, the z axis so here uh, the change in refractive index is along z axis with respect to time eta is equal to the initial refractive index this is the initial refractive index when the sound waves were absent okay when no sound waves were applied the refractive index of the material at that point that is eta subscript o then this is the periodic variation on refractive index okay the periodic variation in refractive index okay so here omega is the angular frequency of the sound wave okay this is the angular frequency of the sound wave and here this is the wave number of the sound wave and this is along the z direction z axis so that's why this and this is the maximum variation in the refractive index that can occur okay the maximum variation so this change in refractive index at different points this brings about the property of bifringence okay which leads to uh, different components of the uh, light incident light traveling with different velocities and getting splitted so depending upon the type of material uh, uniaxial biaxial and uh, the other properties associated with it the phase shift values will be different okay so this is the whole principle of uh, acousto optic modulation of light wave okay so it is the combined effect of bifringence sound waves and bragg diffraction which brings about a change in the refractive index and that brings about a change in the phase shift of the light wave okay so the this is the whole concept okay so if you want to understand it simply light travels because of the sound waves high pressure low pressure regions are created medium density it varies that brings about a change in the refractive index refractive index brings about a change in velocity change in velocity of different components of light waves brings about diffraction of the light beam as per the bragg law bragg's law okay that and because of that there is a change in the phase shift so this phase of the light wave gets altered this is the whole principle of uh, acousto optic modulation so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much